So reading greens is one of the most important part of puttings. You probably miss a lot of putts that you can make because of little mistakes in green reading. Today I'm going to give you a tip, simple two steps tip that will help you read lots of greens better and make more putts. Guys, greens are kind of like women. If you want to score, you got to learn how to read them. So I've got a putt here on this green to this hole that's a fairly tricky breaking putt. Here's why I say it's tricky. This way is uphill. Obviously that way down the mountain towards the Las Vegas Strip is downhill. So I know this putt is somewhat downhill, but that way is also uphill from where we live and on this green. However, if I turn around and look at this putt, there's this mound right over here that's in the way. So I'm not sure is this putt going to go down the hill to the right like I think it would just looking at the geography as I'm walking up to the green or is that mound going to influence it and if it does how how much here's what I do to figure those out and the first thing is you find the straight putt on this green so my putt I know it breaks I'm not sure exactly which way or how much so I want to find a straight one and try to read from there. So I'm going to walk around the hill this way and I'm going downhill and going downhill. Right here it feels just a little bit level and then it goes way back downhill this way. So here again I'm going uphill, level for a little bit. So for purposes of this video, you wouldn't on the putting green, but for purposes of this video, I'm going to drop a ball here. And now I'm going to look at that. That's not a perfectly straight putt. It might break just a tiny bit. For instance, I feel like if I aim that right at this scratch in the back of the cup, it's going to move about that much and hit the center of the stick. Not a perfectly straight putt, but on this really tough breaking putts, the closest, closest or the most straight putt that I can find on this green. So I know here is straight. Now I'm going to start walking back towards my ball. And as I go this way, it's uphill, it's uphill. In fact, right here, this is a starts to be fairly steep uphill. So I'm going to drop a ball here just for fun, and I'll come back and make all three of these putts in a minute. Now let's go to the putt that I'm trying to read. Still moving uphill, still moving uphill, still moving uphill. So I know that's the straight putt. It's uphill to my putt. Well, if uphill is this way, my putt's going to go downhill because that's what gravity does. So, so it's going to move my putt from right to left. In fact, on this one, if I can get my shadow out of the way, I think my aiming point needs to be right here and the ball's going to drop in the hole somewhere in this area. And we'll show you that in a second when I make the putt. But that's the first thing. Find the straight putt and use that to calculate which way your putt breaks by feeling the ground with your feet. By the way, as I go along this line, my toes are up, so that's uphill, which means the putt's going to break this way, and I can just feel it along that line. Step over here, the line that I'm going to putt, and again, you'll see the pros do this if you watch golf on TV, on the Golf Channel, or on Sundays. My toes are pointed downhill, so I know I feel the downhill with my feet, so I know the putt is going to break on some kind of a line like that towards the hole. Now a second part of that, I've seen the straight putt, I know have a pretty fair idea where my putt's going to break, but you know the pros and Tiger Woods talked a lot about you have to see the putt go in before you roll it in. Well I want to talk to you about seeing the center of the cup and here's a method that I've started using in my mind to do that. And that method is to visualize a clock. And some of you are young, you've never told time on a clock that has numbers on it, 12, 1, 2, 3. You need to look at one of those because this will help you. So I've, to make it easy for you to understand what I'm talking about, 
I've taken a piece of paper, cut out a, a golf hole in the middle, and put clock numbers, 12, 1, just like you would have on a clock. Now, for this putt that we just read, I've pointed to my ball on the putt that I read with 6 o'clock. So if my putt was dead straight, it would come straight up the line and roll in at 6. And by the way, if I see 6 o'clock as the center of the cup, I've got a little bit of margin for error. I could, well, let's use the handle of my putter, the grip. So with my putt, if 6 o'clock is the dead straight in from where I am, you know, I could miss at 7. If I didn't hit it too firm, I could miss at 8 or 5 or 4. This is the area where I need to see the ball rolling in. But this putt, we already determined this putt is breaking from out here. In fact, I said I'm going to aim at this brown spot, which means my ball's going into the hole somewhere around 4 or 5 o'clock. So now I can't have the center of the cup be here because this is where I think my ball's going in. So in my mind's eye, I have to reposition the center of the cup. If I think the ball is going in here, then I want to be somewhere in here. So, you know, maybe, in fact, it's got to be more like that because it's not going in at seven because it's breaking that way and it'll get in here and break off and miss. Even at six o'clock, unless you hit it just barely at die speed, it's going to lip out on you. So I need to see the center of the cup on this one probably from about 2 or 2.30 to 6 or 6.30. And visualize that. So when you have a putt, figure out the straight putt. Then from there, decide, feel with your feet which way is uphill or downhill so you know which way your putt breaks. And then in your mind's eye, visualize this clock and see, and you don't have to use a clock, but visualize some method of seeing where the ball goes in the hole. And from that, seeing where the center of the cup is, which gives you a little bit of margin for error. That will boost your confidence. If you're putting this putt that's got a break and you see the center of the cup is six o'clock, you have no room for error. But in your mind's eye, if you go, oh, hey, it's going in about 4.30, that's the center of the cup. Well, you have a margin like this. You could miss it a little bit and still make the putt. Try that. I promise you it'll help you make a lot more putts. So will these two videos on the screen now. Watch them after you give this video a like, share, a thumbs up, and of course click on that subscribe button. And here's to you making more putts.